Okay, so I am in Foster City. This is actually the town that uh, my family first moved to when we moved to California from New Jersey back in 1979. I was a kid then and actually I really love this town. It was cool growing up on the water. We had a sailboat and it was kind of a dream coming from landlocked New Jersey where we were to uh, the San Francisco Bay Area and Foster City in particular because it was just so nice to be able to like swim and and uh, sail and stuff like that but anyway I have not actually painted in this town very often so in fact maybe not ever I kind of like this boat here it looks like uh, the boat that Monet had made for like painting on the Seine uh, and then in the distance there's some blue mountains uh, some tall uh, poplar trees. I mean the houses in the background are very modern looking but I'm just gonna lightly suggest them and I might turn the the color of the roofs to like sort of more of a terracotta they're kind of a tan color. All right and here's where I'm set up I've got the Anderson easel today uh, and I'm painting on a 14 by 18 inch panel uh, using liquid odorless mineral spirits in a brush washer and my usual palette of colors cadmium yellow lemon titanium white cad yellow medium yellow ochre burnt sienna alizarin crimson dioxazine purple ultramarine blue and thalo blue Okay, so I toned the panel with a wash of burnt sienna and just kind of roughly laid out the shapes to make sure that I like the compositional idea. And I went with having more water and less sky uh, just because I'd like to focus on some of the ripples and also the reflections. Um, the sky is not super interesting today, mostly just blue, which is typical California. I like the arrangement of shapes and now I can get a little bit more specific with the drawing. So the most challenging part of the drawing is, is obviously the boats and just getting them sort of uh, correctly laid out. Uh, the rest of it's all very simple uh, and you know can be handled in an abstract way, although I'm going to try to paint the, the boats in a very abstract way as well. Next step, I'm just going to start blocking things in, working dark to light. Okay, so here's where I am now. 
uh, you know, I'm just gonna kind of proceed with caution and not try not to overwork it. So at this point, I'm gonna start making decisions about uh, composition and color from about 10 feet away. Uh, it's really hard to make accurate or to make good decisions when you're right up on your panel. All right, so like I said, the boats are the most important part. Uh, the rest is very abstract. So, you know, I kind of spent a little bit of time on the boats trying to get them, you know, to read properly. Also changed the hull to an orange color uh, just to get some more orange into the painting. Um, the rest is going to be pretty basic. I'm just going to have fun with paint application and that's about it. Okay, so here is what I finished up with. And I've been looking at a lot of Monet paintings lately, in particular the way he paints water. Uh, I talked about that in my last video where I uh, painted cypress trees out at Stowe Lake. In that video, I experimented with horizontal and vertical strokes in the water uh, to create reflections. In this one, I more focused on uh, short horizontal strokes. Uh, there are a few vertical strokes in the tree here when I when I first roughed in the tree uh, but for the most part it's just a bunch of horizontal strokes and then looking for different shifts in the color of the water like I noticed in the foreground the water was more of a, a, a darker blue green and then there was more sky reflected off in the distance and the very distant water along here uh, it was actually kind of a darker ultramarine. Yeah, so it was fun experimenting with, with that effect on the water and I think it really actually works. I, I do like it, although it's a different style of paint application for me, uh, but I think it's fun to experiment, you know, with different painters techniques to kind of reverse engineer what they do and, and if something works you can incorporate it in your own paintings. I tried to keep the boats uh, pretty loose. Um, I didn't want them to be too careful you know, because I, I wanted them to fit in with the overall uh, look of the painting. And so you can see here, there's, you know, there's quite a bit of variety in the water and also, uh, you know, some texture as well. For the distant hills, I used ultramarine. Uh, these right here, I used ultramarine straight out of the tube. And I worried that it was too saturated, but once I got it indoors, uh, it looked, yeah, it looks okay. There's some cleanup to do here. This tree is obviously too circular and you know, the line of the mountains needs to be fixed too. So there's there's definitely cleanup to do on this painting, but you know, it's 99% of the way there. I plan to do more videos like this where I do paintings that are inspired by particular painters. Um, I've never really been motivated to do like master studies where I reproduce a painting, but I do like the idea of trying to emulate certain techniques um, because I think, uh, you know, you can learn a lot through that process. It's definitely challenging. It gets you out of your comfort zone. And uh, like I say, you may discover something new that you can incorporate into your own technique. Uh, so anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you'd like to see some extra videos and help support the channel, there's a Patreon link down below. Got a bunch of extra videos on there and also a materials list. Uh, so check that out. And uh, other than that, stay creative and I'll see you guys in the next video. Mm -hmm.